So back from the UK, um, first couple of days, you probably saw we were doing gardening, uh, but Carol now has decided it's back in the dining room. Because I've got some more wallpaper. Yay! Yay! Did you order enough? Shut up. <laughs> Not funny. So um, you're going to finish this off today, are you? And I've finished the papering off today, and I'll need a couple of days to dry before I put the trim around, which I've got more of. Yay! Yay. So, um, but yes, it's always but. Oh, okay. Look how annoying this is. Um, okay. I mean, it's worse on the other side. There's a one and a half centimetre gap each side that I've got to patch. Oh, well, that's I'm smaller saying. than the other side. Is what you're saying? Very slightly. Oh, okay. Yeah. But. At least all the paper's going to be finished today, finally! Uh -huh. And then and then the next task will be, I'm guessing you've still got, put, still got mouldings? Yeah, put the trim round, um, finish that off in the next couple of days and then finish off the mouldings. Okay. I'm just taking it slowly so I don't get fed up and bored and frustrated. Darling, you never get frustrated. <coughs> or bored. Everyone knows that's true. I mean, <laughs> false. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Oh. No, in future, no saying crack on. Oh, is that a band? That's a band word. Crack on. Okay, I'll think of another word then to use. Actually, do you know what? While you're working in here, this is so good to see. So, Cal's opened up the doors so she can do a. But when you look through, wow. I mean, I know the chandelier in there is a bit low at the moment, but. Yeah, actually, it's very rare we have those doors open, isn't it, Carol? And crumbs, what a difference it makes, even with the light. Quite looking forward to actually seeing this room finish. Oh, so am I. Yes, we can get the dining room. We can actually come and eat in here instead of in our little temporary kitchen. I could hear the sewing machine going, and after knowing you were uh, doing everything by hand. Yeah, but I'm putting six inch heading tape on these curtains and they need to be strong because of the weight. So I'm using the sewing machine. Perfect. So, uh, so, <laughs> so <funny> don't. <laughs> Does that mean you're gonna have curtains ready to go up soon? There's a little problem. There's yeah. always a problem. There is always. There's no pole. Oh. Okay. The pole is missing from this room, so until there's a pole up, I can't do the the length. Right, so the original pole. We need to find something to replicate that. Or are you gonna put a complete new assembly up there? Who knows? Je ne sais pas. Well, our challenge today, uh, Carol wants to get the curtains up. We cannot find a pole that fits this has obviously uh, been uh, um, disposed of somewhere. So we have got a spare pole, it's too long, um, which we're gonna have to shorten. Now it's cast iron, which makes, uh, we can't just bend the end. So if I explain what we're saying here, each end goes into an eye up there. And uh, if you turn that, Carol, where is it? There it is, like that. So first of all, we've not only got to cut this down, no problem, because it's a hacksaw, but then we need to bend it. Um, but if I bend cast on it, it'll just break. It'll just, they're so brittle, it'll snap off. So why not use, I'm hoping, the fire. I did a dummy run earlier, and it worked really well. So we'll get some heat in the fire, um, and then let's have a go at it. This is a woman doing a man's job. No, no, you've got nothing better to do, so I'm going to oh, leave... Oh, oh, it's I'm... on fire! <laughs> it's the masking tape there, don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to leave you there. So that needs about gas mark four for about an hour, if you could just hold that for me. You know nothing about cooking. Oh. <laughs> and when it glows, give me a shout and I'll come and, burn and uh, twist it and whatever I need to do into it. You look like you know what you're doing. I am. I'm Irene Cora. Oh, is that what you're doing? Anyone remembers her? But yes, so. What a feeling! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and I have to put up with this 24 7. Right, so yeah, so I then give that, give that a couple of minutes. It doesn't need to be glowing red. Um, the one I did earlier, just to practice one, seemed to work quite well. And then um, I'll give it a bash with a hammer, as I like bashing things with hammers, don't I? Oh, moulding's coming off again. Right. 
Okay, well, we'll give that a go now and then we'll see what it looks like. Right, fingers crossed. Fire gloves on. Fire gloves on. And yep. Gently does it. Will the pole fit after all the, the bashing and the grinding? Ooh, guys, I'm going to trick it out, I think. Just might have to do a bit of work over here. Okay, so I'm just need a little bit of adjustment on this. How? What do you mean, how? But that goes in nicely now. Yeah? No good if it's not long enough though. I'm not going to answer that. Do I look like a bloody blacksmith? Ha ha, cleaning again are we? Really not funny. And I'm Go really not enjoying it. So why not? Have you got your marigolds on? Yes. Oh, well done. I want to get these curtains up, but obviously I've got to clean the frames. I thought I'd cleaned them already. Ah, and so cleaning again. Oh, what's the masking tape up the top I just seen on the mouldings? Well, that you was just... you knocked off the corner and took the pole up. Are you sure? <laughs> I was so careful, you little liar. The good news is the pole fits. So after a bit of messing around, at least we've got a pole up there now. <clears throat> so the are going up today, is that, this is clean or not. That's what I was gonna ask, okay. So whatever happens, whether it snows or whatever, it's gonna go, they're gonna go up today. I'm supposed to be grouting the tiles, but you are. I, don't know, I don't know which job's worse. Well, if we do the grouting, then that that ensuite is finished, ready to now put in the shower assembly. So it's up to you. No, 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 because no, then I've got to seal it. Oh. I've got that up. I can see that. Um, but I'm going to have to take it down again because I've got to, I need to put it up, see about the length. But if you like, we can just go for this effect that's called paneling. I call it cleaning the floor, actually. Yeah, I don't like it either. No. It's totally impractical, but that's what it's called. Well, so people actually do that and just leave it gathered like that yeah, on the floor? Leave it on the floor, I have cleaned the floor. Leave it on the floor like that, and it's called puddling. Mm, okay. It's not for me either. You're yeah, the... so I've got to take it down again. <laughs> I've just pinned the length. Take it down, sew the hem, put the back up. Never ends, does it? I'm not sure if I like it. Oh, don't say that. Do you know why, even if you like it or don't like it for the moment, it will suffice, won't it? It does nice with the wood rubber, though, I like. Yes, it does go very nice with the wood right? You're concerned. To me, I can see a slight bluey green in the wallpaper, which is not in the curtain. So. Oh, I blame the Instagram voters for getting it wrong. Do you? Yeah, they Why? chose this one over the other one. Was the other one a bluey green then? It <laughs> well, whatever. At the end of the day, they're great. And the other thing you could remember, all the rooms are this height, aren't they? So even if at a later date you decided to change your mind, they're not going to waste. But yes, well done, darling. Well, not done yet. Well. Okay, half well done, darling. I think they look great. Well done. So I bring you back all this lovely wallpaper from the UK so you can finish off your dining room. And where are you? It's Sunday morning. I'm having a little bit of a resting day. You deserve it. So I managed to get a sample of paper the other day, which doesn't really look right. All I'm doing at the moment is very um, premature. But I wanted to know how many um, lengths of paper it was to do this room before I go looking for paper. Because if the paper's like £100 a roll and it needs 10 rolls, Ouch. then pff, there's no chance. So, but I've been measuring it up, but as I've been measuring it up, you can actually see the plumb lines where they've had the paper before. So I actually oh, yeah. know that that's three strips because I can see. Although, when I measured, 
So they, their paper seems to have been 50 centimetres wide, where normal wallpaper is 52. Makes not much difference. Nice, nah, gonna say. But as I've been going around, you can see over here, if you look closely, you have to come closer. Yes, my darling. Keep up. <laughs> where they've drawn on the walls what looks like the mouldings. Oh. Can you see that? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I've never noticed but that before. If you come over this way, it's even more obvious. Right, because that's very faint. Yeah, over here, you've got a picture that they've done of the mouldings on the corners here. Can you yeah. see that? Yeah, I can. It's very faint. But that's what that is. So where they were. Well, yeah, because there's the arch yeah. there that's over here. And that's a copy of what's there. Wow. Well spotted. Oh no. Not that it's um, probably any good to us. I'm still patching these mouldings up. I've done about 30 pieces this morning, glued them on. So it it's a case of just coming back in here when I could be bothered, stick a few more on. When you say patching, you mean you're picking up bits you'll find on the floor and doing a jigsaw again? Yeah, like this bit. Yeah, gotcha. So, somewhere like that. So you're working your way around, just saying, not there, maybe, oh, it goes there. Maybe over there. Yeah, it's quite a few, isn't that's there? all I can do. Oh dear. This is the, uh, I'll show you. Come over to the other corner again. This is the paper that we're trying to match. So I know we could probably have it made. I don't know how expensive that would be. But actually, so far, if I could get the design, I could actually print it, but I don't think I'll ever get that design. So far, this is the closest I can find. But as you can see, it's too green and it looks a bit too bedroomy, I think. Yes. And it's also very similar to what Bethany's got in her bedroom. It's a case of keep looking. This has taken me, what, six months just to try and find this. I've been looking for so long to find something similar to that paper. That's why I'm starting early. And um, out of curiosity, are you papering every panel or? Every single panel will be papered. Not, not looking to do a fabric or anything like you were originally in the salon? Not in here. No. No, so that's 22 drops. Wow. That's about four drops of our six rolls. What you're trying to tell me is this is going to be as expensive as the chandelier. <laughs> At least we've got a chandelier. In this room we do. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. Very lucky to have had that, actually. And even the mouldings above the chandelier, like in the uh, dining room. They're not so scary, those ones. No, but it's in great condition, isn't it? No yeah, damage. There's so not no. one piece missing. No, from so there. that's good news. But... I guess we're not quite, well, you're just prepping this room, we're not ready for me to get in here yet, am I? And like I said before, I'm just picking up all these pieces and sticking them on so I know where they go before you get in here and start banging around. <laughs> you make it sound like I just come in here with a hammer. <laughs> yeah, I basically do. <laughs> I, I do actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Anyway, okay. <laughs>